recording and the going PP, live. The Pokemon podcast. <laughs> the okay. I okay, like so... that actually. Can By we way, call um... it the PP? Like, or would we get taken <laughs> down? Probably. Um, po- social poke D and D. The sure. PP. The PP. Someone somewhere is just like this is offensive, and then I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, shit. Social poke D and D. The PP. That's the PP. The Poke Podcast. Okay, so what other Twitch text do we use? The Poke Podcast. So. Does anyone remember where we left off? I do, but I want you guys to tell me what you remember. We're all at the Pokemon uh, Center. Can, what other Twitch tags do you want me to use? I think we all were. Yeah. You what, all were. What other What other tags do you want me to use? Yeah, I just got there. I was getting healed, and my turtle was getting healed. Was your turtle getting healed, or was it your imagination? I just Bigger. realized I'm the only one with still one Pokemon. <laughs> that happens. I feel ripped off. Oh. <laughs> And we, we got, will have I mean, to remedy that. There's Bigger. plenty of Pokemon out there, but you might lose them. Just saying. Bigger. I don't like that. I keep saying it. <laughs> Boss, is uh, is it streaming? I just realized I was muted the entire time when I was yelling your name. Bigger. <laughs> yes, what's up? <laughs> I was saying, what, I was asking what Twitch tag should we use. Oh my goodness, I was muted the entire oh, time. Oh, okay. Um, I just said casual Pokemon. What else? Pokemon yeah, casual playthrough. Uh, can you just type PP as the title? <laughs> I did. I said social poke D&D the PP. <laughs> the PP. Okay. He and got the, this. He's put, good. And the Twitch game I put as just chatting again. That's fine. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to do Twitch tags as casual let casual playthrough. And apparently it's going to put us in IRL. So that's going to be fun. All right. Three. Um. You guys ready? Yep. 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 Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. I'll be posting it in uh, the uh, general chat. <laughs> I'll post so... it wherever I can too. I'm okay. tweeting and hosting. Oh, oh I, you know what? You. you know what? You're right. I need to host myself. I need to host it myself. That is so nice of both. Hey, of if you're you. gonna call it the PP, you should put in parentheses Pokemon Pod. Guest. <laughs> yeah, that that actually, you know, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, the channel, actually... the PP, the PP, the PP. Oh yeah, we might get the wrong sort of crowd. Yep. <laughs> oh no. So should I um delete the PP? We even spelled it like PP. <laughs> oh no, it was just supposed to be two letters. <laughs> oh, did you really oh. call it PP? Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. No. That's I'm... so funny. <laughs> I didn't know what you wanted. <laughs> Tell me what you mean. Yes. Stellar start. Tell me it. what you mean. If you, you need to be more specific. My Just go- a P and a P. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. I guess I screwed up. Hold on. Let me put on the music. No, no. You're good. Oh, it's too loud. Yeah, That's just really funny. Oh, I hate it. I hate everything <laughs> I've done so far. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Hey, okay, boss. I think my thing is on auto host. Oh no, it's not. It's it's um already hosting another guy that I know. I'm going to change that host. What the fudge is going on? What's going on? What happened? I love your nickname. Echo. You love my I echoing? There's there's an echo. Did you? Do I need you... to mute myself in Discord or something? No, you probably need to mute the Mm-mm. stream and Twitch. Yeah, you can just turn off. Uh... The sound in uh, Twitch. Like it's, it's oh, I've been a, I don't get the music though. Thank you. Oh, Rosie. damn. What happened? No, no, no. Uh, Phoenix wanted the music, I believe. We could just get the playlist from PP Boy. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I nicknamed you that. What the Girl, fuck? I'll just- I'll just mute the the stream. <laughs> oh come on! All right. <laughs> Why did you do what? Mm. Hey, it's a good nickname, you know. Like no, it, it's it's a it'll no. give people like big PP no, energy fields. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was fine being the bussy. No, no, no. You're not calling me this. <laughs> I'm surprised you're fine with the bussy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, elite. Mm. <laughs> we love you. We love you. I'd rather not be called Piss Boy. <laughs> oh no! It's, um, it's, uh, no, that's the vibe it you're not me. Piss Boy. That's, that's actually get... a famous YouTuber. That's actually a famous YouTuber, or not I'm YouTuber, really... st- uh, Twitch streamer. Uh, Aqua Wait. FPS. Here. 
Oopsie, wrong channel. <laughs> there we go. I copy and paste my own link, apparently. Oh, no. Hey, that is not ooh. where I'm streaming. Here we go. Okay, so is the is D&D &D going well? Yes. I mean, <laughs> if, if you guys can see the stream and it's going well, then that means it's going. <laughs> if, if you guys can see that, it's going. I'm just ready but to I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, all the sound sounded good. The, the feed mm -hmm. looked good. Do you guys want to yeah. see the um? What is it called? Uh, I'm gonna do the Twitch alerts. So let's do the widgets. All okay. right. Um. So I'm gonna get us started off here. Uh. So everyone knows that you all ended up at the Pokemon Center. Some of you were injured, definitely. Phoenix, I'm looking at you. Um. <laughs> Some of you had a really amazing experience and also a very scary one. But you're all here at this particular Pokemon Center. There is no Nurse Joy, as you can see, but there is a doctor in a lab coat, or as you might know her, as the professor. Um, when you are like here, you hear a lot of banter from like just anyone and everyone that's in this Pokemon Center. And most of what people are saying is that there's a new legendary Pokemon around and it's causing havoc for a lot of the nearby individuals. What would you guys like to do? And I will give you guys the option for rolling turn, or, uh, turn orders. So you guys only have to roll a D10 and whoever gets the highest number goes first. Me oh my. <laughs> it does with that 10. I didn't want to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're about to. Wait, did I do that wrong? Put a 1 in front of the D. Oh. Yeah. Oh, what? like slash Wait, roll what? and then 1 D10. Uh, or you can use the little widget on the side. Yeah, I always use that. Yeah, I just do this. There you go. <laughs> nice. Um, so, <laughs> Rosie, what would you like to do? This You're going your first. Part. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. It's the dice. Um, it is. I, oh gosh. Um, hearing this banter back and forth about the legendary Pokemon, I would scoop up Noodle and Nugget and like run up to the desk where the professor is be like, ooh, can you tell me more about that? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna move you there. So the professor's on the other side, literally just like typing on her computer and she perks up in like just immediately noticing you and saying, oh, you're interested in the legendary Pokemon. Who would What be? exactly would you want to know? Uh, do you know what kind it is? Like, what kind of havoc is it wreaking? What can we do to help? Or what can I do to... I don't know if they want to help, but I want to help. So, she tells you that she doesn't know which legendary it is. She says, If I'm being completely honest with you, we know very little. We do know that fires are being spread throughout the forests near here. But there is something odd about this one. It's supposedly extremely large, larger than any legendary ever seen before. Being that large, is there like a description of what it looks like? Is it flying? Is it like a big like dog? Like what does it look like? Like mammoth uh, large or like yeah. large? <laughs> is it whale? She, she she tells you that a news anchor friend of hers found only one image. And it shows red. That's it. But supposedly, it's as big as a mountain, if not bigger. That seems like <coughs> it would be hard to miss. So if we go looking for it, we should find it pretty easily. You would think, but it seems to be jumping or how do I say teleporting? Yet no one knows exactly what it is. It just appears, then vanishes. Destruction in its wake, wherever it goes. Huh. But the last known location that it was, was uh, 
I think it was a little south from here. Uh, southeast, perhaps? Cool. Tugs on Grimes to shirt, uh, like, eagerly. You wanna go? You wanna go? Yeah, we should probably figure out what this thing is, because if it's as big as a mountain, it might crush this, like, town. Are you sh are, are you sure? I mean, I'm assuming we're I, we're all here. We can still talk to each other, right? Yeah. Wait, why is your icon not there? What happened? Boss, your icon, where is it? I don't know. Where'd you put me? <laughs> Am I just going? Did, yeah. you, did you delete there me? You. No. I hope I'm not deleted. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. You're still here. Are you sure we want to Damn. tackle something that's supposedly as big as a mountain? Because I'm pretty sure it could crush us all in one fell swoop if it's literally oh, that large. We don't have to tackle it. I just want to check it out. Yeah, seeing that might be kind of cool. Because look at these weird ass things and yeah. trying to kind of gesture towards the Pokemon. <laughs> and I wave Noodle around. <laughs> you wave Noodle. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So. I want you to roll a d20, and this is going to be for how Noodle reacts. Oh no. The Noodle reacts. Noodle is overjoyed and is extremely happy that he is being like twirled around like a ballerina. Aww. <laughs> and all you hear is <laughs> Just happy, happy squir squeals. Hey, Noodle the wants day to, to go noodle. too! <laughs> Oh. That is a happy Dratini. Mm -hmm. I can so, tell we're uh, best friends. <laughs> you, you are one that wants to go. Uh, we're going to go down the list now. So who got second for rolls? Was three that you, boss, or was that Phoenix? It was all three of us because we all got oh. six. <laughs> you you three actually have to re-roll so, to see who goes first now. D10 again? Yep, D10. Well, Oof. I guess I'm going second to last. Oh, wait, no, I'm going last. I'm just going last. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. You, you go before uh, Grimes. Okay. It's all you, Brit. You got this. One more roll. You're going to be going... Oh, it's... You, this doesn't matter, actually. Yes. <laughs> it's 10 versus 1. Well, I mean, if she gets a 10 or yeah, a 1... A, that's a roll again, yeah. We still... Yeah. Wait, do I need a roll right now? A yeah, D10. just a D10. Okay. For the people. For the people. Why does this sound like a rebellion? For the people! <laughs> okay. Destruction. Uh, Phoenix, you get okay. to go next. But before anything is done, uh, I do need one thing from you. Okay. Give me a D100. Okay. Um, when you... When you're, uh, like, healing Turtwig and your little fletchling buddy here, you notice that there's a Raticate in the corner. And I'm going to just enlarge the photo so you guys know what Raticate looks like. Oh. I think most of you know. But he is literally just hunched in the corner. And all you hear is, room. like, a gnawing sound. That's where he What's is. He I didn't realize he's... <laughs> You don't see it entirely, but you think it's food. Now, since I'm now aware that I'm in a po Pokemon world, I'm going to assume it's somebody else's Pokemon, and I'm going to talk with my Pokemon. All right. What do you? Who do you want to talk to, and what do you want to say? Both my Pokemon. Okay. All right. Listen up, guys. Apparently, you are Pokemon. So, uh, and apparently, I guess I'm now your trainer. So we are now officially a team, or flock, or pack. What do you guys prefer? Turtwig, what uh, do you think? Your Turtwig kind of just like lays down in front of you and just goes, ah. Okay. And just makes that noise. <laughs> so are you sounds like you're abstaining. Tur uh, Fletchling, what do you think? Your Fletchling looks at you and shivers. Like it just quivers a little bit and just kind of shits a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. No need to be afraid of me anymore. We're on the same team. So if nobody else is going to vote, we're going to call ourselves a pack. If you have a vote, like, I don't know, jump up and down or something. Um, get, Roll just 1d20. Uh, yeah, 1d20. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Um, your Turtwig literally, like, instead of just lays down, it starts to shift itself looking at the, the, uh, the Raticate. And it just does not want to speak to you at the moment. But your Fletchling... Oh, God. Your Fletchling is petrified and it can't move it's that scared of you <laughs> it's traumatized i gotta pick up the <laughs> flesh like and try to calm it down by petting it uh so that's gonna be animal ha animal handling uh do a d20 again but i give you oh i give you negative three to this which makes sense okay <laughs> And the Fletchling rolled a five before. Okay, well, you know, you still technically pass. It's not as petrified anymore. It's not shivering, but it is scared. Um, it, it acknowledges you, and it just stays on your hand. And that's it. All right, good enough. All right, we are a pack now. Um, I am going to call you a little... Fletchling. I'm going to call you Pontiac. Uh, let's see. Turtwig. I am going to call you Turdy. I'm going to call you 30. All right. You can rename them, by the way, in the uh, <laughs> description if you want. Um, so you got Turdy. And what is your bird's name? Pontiac. Pontiac. He's a firebird. Okay. <laughs> I'm down for it. Um, <laughs> Turdy actually turns and looks at you for a moment and goes, ah. but <laughs> your fletchling, it seems to be a little bit happier. It, it seems to like its name, Pontiac. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, did I get fire uh, po Pokeballs last time? Uh, I thought we like assumed that they all you, just went in the Pokeballs. You, I I don't remember if I gave you Pokeballs. I think, and it, well, technically you all should have Pokeballs right now. Yeah, because so I know yes. some people got like two of them when we came in. Yeah, so you should be probably uh, given. What is it? Yeah, no, you should have two Pokeballs and two already in use. So, for example. You used one on Turtwig, you used one on Fletchling just now, probably, or before. Um, actually, no, 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 no. You would have one extra Pokeball right now. Only one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah. I put a Pontiac on my shoulder. I'm assuming they're healed up now. Yep. All right, Turdy, do you want to ride in the Pokeball or on my shoulder? I'm going to roll for this one just to see. Turdy wants to be carried around in luxury. He likes the Pokeballs. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna try and, I don't know, not entirely sure how it works, so I just kind of poke him with the Pokeball. Okay. Um, when you poke him with the Pokeball, he instantly goes in, and all you hear is, Bring! and he's in. Uh, we're gonna all go right. down the line. So, Brit. To, towards the front desk. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, I'll make sure your little guy is not gonna the ignore the eradicate. Well, I guess it is just pretty much, that. yeah. Now that I'm, yeah, now that I'm aware of Pokemon, that I'm in a Pokemon world, and I'm in a Pokemon Center, I assume it's somebody else's Pokemon. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. so you just ignore. Okay, I see why. Uh, Britt, it is now your turn. You and your Eevee. What would you like to do? Mm, let's see. I noticed that Eevee's a little dirty looking from that adventure way mm -hmm. over here. So I think I'm going to go to the front desk and ask the lady up there if there's any where I can rinse it off at my chubby little okay. Eevee. Okay. Um, so the professor comes over and says, if you're trying to clean your Pokemon, um, we technically do that for you. If you'd like, I can put him in the machine and He'll be clean. Yeah. Um, does it in like matter of five seconds, five to seven seconds. And he comes out squeaky clean. 
and he's a little poofy. He's he's a very poofy boy, <laughs> but um, he seems very happy and like really chill. That you, you just you notice that he was dirty and he's comfy now. And uh, the professor's asking, "Oh, are you uh, with these fine folks, or are you by yourself?" Well, I was by myself, and then I met someone named Phoenix, and then he came in here. And I don't know where he went. He's just gone. <laughs> uh, but I don't know anyone else here. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna drag Phoenix to right there. He's he's probably close to being there. And she asks, "Well, since you're all pretty new here, would you like to uh, have any? I don't know." knowledge over the area or if you're planning on leaving would you like some provisions i'd actually like to know more about this place it seems pretty interesting and all these wild pokemon just roaming around like it's nothing and uh she she kind of like squints her eyes at you giving you not like a a weirded stare but like a concerned stare you do realize that we are in a forest, right? Pokemon are naturally meant to be, well, here. They're as much here as us as humans. Um, Yeah, you're really not around from here, are you? No, I don't even know where I'm from. Oh, that is most concerning. Uh, well, to answer your answer simply, you're in a realm where... These Pokemon are mainly here for the winter. Uh, you, you, you've never been to, like, the Northern Realms or anything similar? Not that I can remember. I don't think so. Maybe I'm from another planet. She looks at you very concerned now, and she you see her, like, type something on her computer. You don't know what, but... You do know that it. she looks extremely kind of agitated, like something just went wrong. Well, uh, I'm going to try and figure out more for you, but feel free to take any provisions you'd like and um, be very careful because it gets cold outside. I'll try. Thank you. I feel like she's going to um, start probing us. <laughs> Booty hole. <laughs> no, that doesn't mean that, beer. It does not That's always true. mean that. <laughs> That's what I thought also, but. What, booty no, hole? No. <laughs> Stop. We don't uh, need that. We don't need those kind of bandits here. Uh, boss, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Okay, so run down. Um, so, I guess, uh, what I do want to do is I'll go with, what, what was that laugh? Um, what, uh, Phoenix wrote. <laughs> oh. Phoenix was a nat 20 to avoid pro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I get it, I get it. Um, I guess, um, I'll go with Grimes and... <laughs> Um, Stella, but mm -hmm. first I'll take a quick look at my Pokemon. Okay. To see what would you like they, to see on their Pokemon? To see their status, if they're hurting, if they're dirty, all that stuff. Um, your Mimikyu isn't dirty at all and seems to be very happy near your side. Um, your Pidgey, on the other hand, has something on its wing but it looks to be not from him. Take a closer look, I guess. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. Uh, d20, okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, your Pidgey has a magnet on its wing. A magnet? Mm-hmm. Just a straight magnet? Mm-hmm. It, it's so... 
it, it basically <laughs> it basically <laughs> looks like the uh, the magnet is clipped to the the wing of the Pidgey. Um, it's not like a Pokemon magnet where like it gives uh, a better chance for a metal type, but it is a magnet that is like clipped to the Pidgey's wing and it looks to be oddly fastened on there. My Pidgey is a spy. <laughs> um, I guess Professor, can you tell me what this magnet on my Pokemon is? She comes over and she's like, oh, uh, no idea, but I will take it off if you'd like. Sure. I don't know how Pidgey's going to react, though. She takes it off uh, simply very easily, actually. And the Pidgey just flaps its wing and it seems to be happier. But the magnet has a giant R on it. Oh. <laughs> I see. I'm going to... Can I keep that magnet? And she's like, sure. I don't need it. And she gives it to you. And it kind of looks like a pin but without an actual like push pin in it like it, it just looks like a clip magnet if that makes sense so that's the team we're dealing with <laughs> who knows uh, okay good no no what else would you like uh i guess talk there's not really much else to do um miss professor uh, what um should we do in terms of shelter she says in a very soothing voice well you could always come here the pokemon centers all over the world are meant to help strangers like you but there are hotels and motels that you can stay in inns that are allowing trainers like yourselves to uh occupy and if you can't find those well there's always caves and wondrous experiences just out there Imagine Don't be afraid being, to adventure. Imagine being told to sleep in a cave by someone who works in hell. He kind of cares. She <laughs> just looks at you and is just like, you can sleep in a cave. Don't be a little, little crybaby. Okay, That's her uh, voice, too. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, she uh, stand by she, she kind of goes back to her work. <laughs> okay, stand by... Grimes. Stand by Grimes and then look at their Abra, I guess, and then move on to the next turn. I'm just gonna be like watching them or petting them. Abra? Pet petting their Abra, yeah. Oh, uh, roll for that. Oh, I didn't know it would be a bad idea to pet their Abra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'll roll to pet their Abra. Roll what? Uh, d20. D20. Oh, <laughs> not 20. Interesting. Perfect. Um, so when you try to pet Abra, Abra accidentally teleports into your hand. Into my hand. And you are like holding Abra in your hand in the air right now. And Abra is looking extremely bashful and He's is like just bias. very red. <laughs> I didn't know Abra's face turned red. Yeah, his face is just very red right now. But seems to be extremely happy. And um, looks over at uh, Grimes and then just teleports to Grimes' shoulder. Grimes, it is now your turn. What would you like to do? Hello. I would like to tuck Abra back up on my shoulders so he can continue sleeping. <laughs> oh, he was sleeping. I'm so sorry. Or maybe... They're always sleeping. Or maybe yeah, they just randomly, place. or maybe it was like a teleport that they just randomly did as I was coming to them. Let's see, possibly. But I'm gonna tuck him away so he's sleeping again. I'm gonna go back to the professor and be like, "So you said it was in the southeast?" She, uh, she gets a really big smile on her face and she's like, "Yes, yes, it is. Well, hopefully it is. But are you planning on trying to capture it?" know that but it sounds interesting enough is there anything along the way we should worry about or is it a pretty clear path out there she she gives you like a skeptical look and she says if you're interested for going that way you should be safe enough there are some 
interesting Pokemon around, but in all in all, I think you'll be fine. As long as you don't go up the mountains, or, well, too deep into the mountains, you should be fine. Alright, one other question. Grimes kind of points down at everyone and goes, The guy has some troubles with his teleporting. Is there anything I can do to help him with that? Well, you are the trainer. You train him. The more accurate your levels with him become, the better that you two will be. So, for example, if you try to work with him on, say, certain attacks or befriending others or himself, you'll do really well with him. And he'll start to listen to you better. He'll be able to know what you want. We don't exactly have a perfect communication between Pokemon, but they understand our emotions and how we feel, sometimes even words. So, all I can tell you is, work with him. Grimes is going to take that answer and kind of make a brief plan in their head about, like, yeah, we'll go, we'll go sort this out, and is going to look at Stella and be like, I don't think just us should go. We should obviously bring, like, the other weirdos since we all seem to be a little out of place here. Oi. Oh, for sure, us weirdos gotta stick together. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> this is how I make friends. <laughs> so, uh, Vid, you're trying to get everyone together, right? Yeah, just be like, yo, we've annoyed this town enough. We should probably go, like, maybe this big creature can, like, yeet us back into whatever existence was before this. Oh. <laughs> Is anyone against time. Is anyone against that? Like you can literally go on your own if you want or go with them. Not against, but not but I'm wondering when. I don't know if we should go at immediately. What time of day is it? It's about midday. Y'all want to sleep and head off in the morning, or do you want to truck out now and hope we get to a nice spot? I personally would say let's explore this little town for today, for rest of the day, then head out in the morning, yeah? Sounds good to me. We're going to need supplies. Yeah. And money for that matter. How does money work here? That professor basically just says, oh, well, money is very easy and accessible. Um, a lot of trainers battle. Some do odd jobs. Others will work for a living. If you wanted to be a miner, they're hiring. But it's very dangerous work. I don't exactly recommend it. You know anyone that might need help at the moment as far as minor manual labor? There's a few. Um, what are you all capable of doing, if I may ask? Speaking of which, we don't really know our general stats as humans. Only our, like, Pokemon. Yeah. So, here's where it gets interesting. Tell me a job or job description that you guys think you would be capable of as a Pokemon trainer. As a Pokemon trainer? Mm -hmm. I'll let Vidge go first because she's actually they've actually played this before <laughs> well Graham's pretty knowledgeable about like stuff from the land and taking care of people so probably anything like uh, Pokemon rescue related like any of the mm -hmm. if anyone's stuck or if anyone needs help moving some things to clear a trail that kind of stuff she basically puts her hand to her palm and she goes oh you would be perfect as a rescue ranger um yeah they i think they have an opening right now if you'd like to check them out yeah i can go out and do that and she says down the road there's a uh, a little shack with another pokemon center and um all i know is the man that owns it he's uh, been snowed in quite a bit and he probably needs a little help there but he can give you all the supplies and resources that you'd need for that. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna go dig out this old guy and hopefully get us some kind of uh, 
start here. All right. Well, good luck to you. And uh, looks over at Stella and uh, asks, what about you, my dear? What would work for you? Um, I mean, I make a mean snickerdoodle cookie. Ah, so you're a cook or a chef or a baker. Yeah, I'd say baker. Hmm. She says in a very questionable like in, in a very questioning answer would you be opposed to working with a uh, hot headed Pokemon by chance and maybe their trainer <laughs> is the trainer also hot headed no they are the sweetest young boy that you've ever met but they're Charizard, on the other hand, is a little <laughs> something. I will try to make new friends. Sounds like a challenge. Free oven. She Free uh, oven. she she smiles and gives you a little paper slip with an address on it, and she basically says, "Do be mindful that the Charizard really loves chin scratches, but don't feed it." It'll get very fat and lazy. And we don't need that. Yeah, we can't have that. Pin scratches, got it. Don't feed it food. Do not. I dare you. Do not feed it any kind of food whatsoever. It will get instantly fat. <laughs> um. uh, looks at Boston. Says, "What would you like?" Let's see. I'm fairly technologically advanced. Would you like to be a research assistant for a day? Uh, I wouldn't mind that, no. When I'm, oh, yes, I would like to do it. <laughs> she points to the back office, uh, right where I'm pinging now, and she says, there's a computer there. I need people to reference certain images and work with uh, kind of incoming information. It's a lot of work, but I'll pay you handsomely for it. Why not? It'd be nice to stay at the Pokemon Center. And uh, she says, very good. I'll see you soon then. Thank you. I'll let you move your character over there. Okay. Um, the professor comes over to you, Brittany, and says, what about you? What is your special talents? I feel like my character is artistic. Artsy. Hmm. And like she like collects stones what about like making jewelry and selling it and she says well that is actually something you can do um there are a few jewelers in this city it's a, technically a town but it's the biggest town around um i I'd, I'd say go and speak with one of the older residences outside this uh, pokemon center he could probably help you with possibly making and selling some of your finer wares. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just boop, boop. They're outside the they're outside the Pokemon Center. They have they have eviscerated. They they are now no <laughs> longer <Evaporated>? alive. <laughs> no, no, eviscerated. I'm dead now. <laughs> uh, Phoenix. Evaporated is more liquid. Uh, <laughs> I, I assume I came in right about the time they were talking about um, provision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much of what I what they were talking about did I overhear? Um, you Connor. probably yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you probably heard that she was offering you guys provisions. That if you guys wanted to work together, you could, and if you wanted to go find that Pokemon, you could also do that. But She's currently trying to ask if you wanted a specific job, or if you wanted to look for a specific job in general. Uh, yeah, uh, job I could probably do. I could do a lot of jobs, but uh, about those provisions, what sort of provisions and how much do they cost? She says, oh, they're free. I give you two berries and uh, a Pokemon healing kit. It's a one-use item, but it heals your Pokemon of 10 HP. As well as giving you food, the berries are actually for you, not for your Pokemon. Ah. 
technically. Now, I'm not eat from them. around here, so I don't know uh, like uh, a lot about these berry. These. Ah, well, I can teach you. Um, red will make you have some gas. I'll say that much. And the black are actually very edible and very yummy. Like a meal's worth or a whole day's worth? or Oh, you'd need a, you'd quite a few berries to be full. But the ones that I just gave you, and she hands you a little baggie, uh, it holds two berries, and they're not black and they're not red, they're orange. She refers to these as uh, gecko berries. They're very rare, but they're very filling. Your Pokemon can eat them, but it's mainly for humans. Hmm. They're very addicting to Pokemon. Got it. Don't feed the Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, as far as... Oh, I'm going to need some money. My clothes are a little bit singed. Um, I can see. Let's see. I doubt my ex-military skill is going to be all that helpful at the moment, but I am a jack-of-all-trades, so uh, what do you got going on? Well, there's always something going on. Uh... What works best for you? We have a construction worker down the road. We have a few people trying to get in to the mine. It's very dangerous work, though. We even have some swamp work that's high paying. All you have to do is wrestle some water Pokemon, mainly Quagsires, and then throw them out of the swamp because they're kind of destroying our ecosystem at the moment. Hmm. I like the sound of high paying. Yeah, let's go with that one. Do you want to wrestle a Quagsire or two? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, uh, I need a lot of supplies because basically what I'm wearing is what I got. So uh, let's go with high paying. Hey, right. sounds good. And she gives you a little note to where to go. And you're off. Now, we are going to go right to where Stella's going. It sounds like um he turned into a bounty hunter. <laughs> Basically. He's gonna punch more Pokemon. Yeah, he's gonna he's not even gonna use his Pokemon to fight. He's just going to punch <laughs> them all and get them out of here himself. His Pokemon's gonna be like, okay, so uh, we tried to do something. We're not getting any stronger. He's kind of just beating everything up. <laughs> That's how he wins the Pokemon. Yeah, hey, I'm here for it. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just want to see artistic, or not artistic, um, like, I want to see Phoenix, like, being, like, a professional Pokemon wrestler. Like, that's just gonna happen <laughs> one of these days. Um, but no. Um, Stella, you are presented with a younger individual, um, probably around the age of, like, 15 to 16, and there's a pretty happy Charizard right beside him it's not as the description at all like an angry charizard or anything and they are just on a uh on the inside of a corner street and they are happily giving away uh pokey muffins what would you like to do um confirming this is the address that the professor gave me this is all right I would look down at the sheet of paper and then start waving happily. Hi, hello. Professor Pine sent me over here. I think I can help. And the boy starts to use sign language to speak to you. Oh. Do you know sign language? Roll d20. Oh my gosh. I know like five words in real life. Um... <laughs> oh. Let's see if you know it in Pokemon. <laughs> oh, yeah, shit. You. you know it vividly. <laughs> you know it Instantly. Vividly. Instantly, you know that the boy is saying, wonderful, hello there. And he has a big smile on his face. And he's telling you in sign language, would you like to meet my friend Chuck? And he points to the Charizard. And Chuck just smiles at you with big brown eyes. I'd, um, I'd sign, hi, Chuck. And then I didn't get the boy's name. And he says, hi, I'm Steven. And I'd sign, hi, Steven, my name's Stella. And he pulls out a Poke Muffin and he gives it to you. And he says, here, for you. 
and I'd sign thank you, um, and then ask, is this for my Pokemon, and gesture to Noodle and Nugget, who are still out and about. And he notices that you now have two Pokemon. He says, oh, and he grabs another one. And he says, yes, yes, for both. And he then gets up and goes into a shop and he says, follow me. And it's it's almost like you notice something with his hand. Give me a D20 real quick. I love that you have a mute character. Okay. Um, you notice his hands start shaking. That's all you notice. Oh. And Chuck gives you, not you, but he gives a look to Steven's hands. And it, it, he's no longer happy. But he follows in. And you see that there is this really nice bakery on the inside. And it's beautiful. Everything in it is like antique or just old fashioned. A metal oven, everything. And it's it's gorgeous. Um, already Chuck puts his tail under the stove and it's starting to heat up more muffins. And Steven, with his shaky hand, says, would you be able to pound some of the dough for me and maybe mix some of the ingredients? All you need is berries and a few um, things of dough. But if that's too difficult for you, we can always have you just putting them in. And he says that all like just in one go emphatically sign i got this i got this and get to work give me a d100 real quick just oh, to see no. if any of them are burnt <laughs> oh you did good okay Ooh, nice. um nice. you you have like maybe two crisp corners like a little too crisp but all of them out of like a hundred they're really beautiful they're all beautifully made and i'm gonna see if you notice something real quick um Give me two D10s real quick and a D20. Okay. Oh, you noticed right away. Um. Oh. So, Steven gives you uh, like a bunch of money and it's about 600. It's, it's a little over 600 Pokey dollars. So it's 623. But when he does... You notice that his hands are shaking profusely and the money drops onto the ground. And you notice that his his heart is starting to clench up because he's grabbing at his heart and it's getting hard for him to breathe. And I'm Chuck ignore the money. Over. Yeah, and just like, are you okay? Like sign to him, are you okay? Is there anything I can get you? And he signs no, it's my condition. And he looks up at you with like really sad eyes but a smile still on his face and Chuck puts his tail around him and holds him and you notice that this boy and you notice right away because you got a nat 20 has a weak heart but he is very small he looks 15 but he's a little bit older I'll say that much and he is extremely weak and he can barely keep up the bakery as it is like doing this is actually the most exertion he'll ever be able to have it's it's probably like slowly like hurting him <laughs> well now i want to stay here forever and help him out that got deep real quick it really did. oh yeah <laughs> oh my goodness oh. i guess if you so if you guys... he, he he, he says, thank you so much for your help today. It, you don't understand how hard it is to run a bakery by myself. And I could make you cry so much right now. I'm already getting misty. <laughs> he says, after my parents disappeared, it's been Brock really tough. Misty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey. After your parents disappeared, it was so, oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to like. That was actually a really good Pokemon joke. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, Phoenix. <laughs> Keep hitting me with those. Oh, but yeah, no. He says it's it's really hard running the store by himself. And I signed back to him. Is there anyone in town that can help you on a more regular basis? He says most of the elderly can't because they're too old. But he always sees someone coming by that's interested in helping. 
and I'm gonna sign. How long have you been? And I hesitate with the sign, and I ask, alone. And he says, seven years. Oh. But Chuck's been with me for six. Did you raise Chuck by yourself from a Charmander? And I spell out Charmander because there's not really a sign for that. Mm -hmm. He, um... I love that you said Charmander instead of Charizard. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> he says, uh... He says, oh no, I met Chuck as a Charizard. He actually rescued me from when I was um, in the cold. And hearing that, I'm going to... I go to pet Chuck's head just because he's good, but then remember and give him a chin scritch just to like okay. show that I appreciate all he's done for Steven. I give you... Wow, good. Um, I give, I'm going to give you a plus two to this. So, yeah, you're definitely going to beat me. <laughs> you're definitely going to beat me anyway. Oh, God! Nothing <laughs> 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 Um Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Um, he... He gives you kind of like a sad look, but he still smiles, and then he smiles bigger when you ch you chin ch scratch him. You're um, such a good boy, Chuck. <laughs> uh, but the the boy asks, "Would you ever like to help out every now and again?" Oh, absolutely! I'm really new here, and I don't know how often I'll be in town, but I will for sure help you any chance I can get. He smiles like just profusely, and he says, "Great!" and he. He signs in, like, the biggest way possible. You are wonderful. Thank you. I'm and... just going to immediately grab him into a hug. Oh, uh... he, he just accepts it, and he just smiles. He just gives you a hug back. Um, but you do get 600 and... I think it was 23, right? 623? I'm only going to take half. No, he, he insists. He okay. gives you the 623. Okay. He's like, no, no, no. Please, don't offend me. <laughs> okay, um, I, I won't offend you. He yes. gives you all of it. And um, he also gives you a bag of pop, uh, uh, pop, uh, puffins? Oh, puffins? puffins. I thought you were going to yeah, say puffins. a bag of pot. Puffins. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, nice, gives you a bag of pot. <laughs> One bag. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I know where you get this. <laughs> uh, but For yeah, your no. condition, quote unquote. <laughs> and I want you to write in your character sheet somewhere that you are a learned sign language uh, expert and you are also a uh, amateur baker. Nice. Now we're going to go to Vidges. Might be a little bit happier, just saying. Hello. Honestly, that was amazing story writing in your I part. Love that. <laughs> yeah. that was amazing. Trust me. Definitely. I, I have an opportunity to ruin you all with Steven in the future, Please but I don't. might not. <laughs> okay, so if you don't understand you... how evil I am. Okay, so Vigor, if it has to do with Team Rocket, you know I'm going to get revenge in the worst way possible. If it has to do with one of the t evil teams that we're going up against, I am going to ransack that entire building, wherever their base is. I'm going to destroy it. <laughs> You don't know that it's Team Rocket, though. That's I'm saying whatever team it is. Alrighty. Uh, Vidge, it is your turn, I believe. So, I need you to give me one, two, three, four. Four rolls. Uh, and it's going to be four D10s. Four D10s. Oh shit! Okay. Uh, Ten on one. Those aren't too nice. bad. You, you actually don't interact with, or you don't like no Pokemon comes up to you at all in the tall grass at all. So you are perfectly safe. Oops, I what did I do there? Um, do give me a D one hundred though. Yeah. Or yeah, D one hundred. Sorry, I had to think about that. Solid Ooh. fifteen. <laughs> all right. Um, you notice that everything is really quiet like oddly quiet and i think i gave you the address yeah um there is an old man where i just pinged and i'm gonna have to get him out real quick what where'd you um him? uh top of the screen on there ping right there and i just have to get the old man out real quick yeah. um i say old but he's 
like oddly not like old old if that makes sense he's just like middle aged esque <laughs> I'm but, 27 god why is everybody say I'm old no, <laughs> can't you no, he's, old he's actually like 53 so I mean he's getting there um but he comes out in these like shorts and then like long pants that like you wear underneath your shorts and he <laughs> he's trying to look cool in the cold and he says <laughs> Boy, I wish you were here to shovel me out an hour ago. And he looks at you and says, So, what are you doing here, Ron? I'm supposed to shovel you out, but it seems like you can actually take care of yourself out here. Ah, uh, bollocks to it. You, uh, you here for training, or what, what are you here for? Yeah, I heard there was something called the Rangers. I want to see what it's about. Ah, uh, the best of the best, yeah. Um, I teach you, and uh, let me think about it real quick. And like he he sucks. looks at his watch, and he you notice that he seems a little tipsy. Mm -hmm. And he looks at his watch and he says, "Can you read this?" And all of a sudden, you see that his watch is broken. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him the time that is directly stuck on the watch. And he's like, "Oh, well." If it's that late, then that's a little sad. But, you know, I can still try you. Um, <laughs> Geodude, go! And all of a sudden, you have a Geodude pop up, and all you hear is Geodude, Geodude. <laughs> What's up, Geodude? What am I doing? And he says, I need you <clears throat> to put this Geodude in his place. And... Oh, man, things are getting dizzy. You just have to defeat me to show me that you deserve to be a ranger. Now, thing is, the harder missions come with prices. You don't get the harder missions till later. You get level one if you can defeat my Gia, dude. And later, and all of a sudden he throws up a little bit and you hear it, but then he swallows it. And goes, <laughs> you get to face my other Pokemon, and then you get to face my uh, fiance's Pokemon. She's around here somewhere, but you, uh, Geodude, use Mud Slap, and then Geodude like turns and gives a look and goes, Geodude. Oh yeah, that's right. That's my other Pokemon. Uh, tackle, and. <laughs> This is where combat comes into play. And this is where you have to defeat a 12. And he's hitting with an 11. So, um, try. So, you're technically going first, but this is for dodging. Okay. Uh, so, just roll a d12 to dodge. And. This this isn't like the first action technically. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Well that's okay. Um the Geodude hits you instead mm -hmm. of your Abra, and Geodude like looks really concerned all of a sudden. He's like, oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> um you feel like your stomach has just hit a boulder and like someone threw it at like 15 miles an hour kind of shit. Oh, as I'm hunched over, I'm gonna look at the Geo dude and give him a thumbs up. Like, nah, you're good, bud. Like, that was me. And I'm going to let out Murkrow to fight. Okay. Geo dude actually is kind of like absent minded towards that. And he's like, that was weird. Um, <laughs> your your Murkrow looks at you and goes, the kind, gives you a look like, oh, Mur. I'm gonna be fighting this thing. <laughs> <laughs> hope, you're, hope you like rocks, but I'll, I'll give you a good berry after. <laughs> so, um, what is your, what is the move that you're going to be using? For your I'm going to use pursuit on him. All right. Um, do a d12. All right. It's it's going to hit either way. Well, <laughs> well, I'm. It's going to hit either way, but I, I'm glad that. We Probably. all know that you're a bad trainer right now. It's not very effective. Um, I'm new so, to this. <laughs> so it does hit, and it doesn't do very much damage. 
uh, the Geodude basically like has a scratch on it. Yeah. And your uh, your your drunken friend over there says that was a little bit weak. <sighs> Show me something new. And then he says, Geodude, tackle again, but don't hit the uh, the white haired one. Hit the bird one. And Geodude gives like a thumbs up. Uh, see if your Murkrow dodges this. D12. Seven. It does. So, fast. your Murkrow is fast enough to dodge. And your Geodude, or not your Geodude, the Geodude, uh, misses the Murkrow and hits you again in the stomach. <laughs> oh my goodness, that Geodude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. this is like Pull the back anime. onto my ass. This is a straight, like, <laughs> the like, anime. <laughs> double over and be like, "Hey, who else is not at... good at this?" Apparently, that Geo dude. I'm gonna look at uh, Murkrow and be like, it... "He's a rock. Go for its eyeballs." I don't <laughs> even eyeballs think it... are soft. <laughs> I don't so... even think it's like the trainer's fault that he's drunk. That Geo dude just doesn't know how to aim. <laughs> D give me a D20 for uh, talking to your Murkrow real quick. I'll give you a plus one because you've known it for a little while. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thirteen. It under it, it understands you, and it goes right for the eye, and it pursues right into its left eye, blinding it for like. Uh, let's uh, let's just say it's blind for right now. Perfect. Um, it topples all the way back, and it hits its trainer into the doorway. Oh no. Oh, dear. And it breaks the door. It, all is of a he sudden <laughs> he is not. But all of a sudden you hear someone say, "Hey, what's going on out there?" What do you say in return? Is it a male voice or a female voice? Female. They're like if, if you're the fiance, I think he uh I think he took a tumble. And all of a sudden you hear, I think I heard that. And you see, oh, shit, my, oh. I don't want can to I, see shit. Can I grab it? There we go. <laughs> yeah. You see her, and I'm just enlarging her for a second so you can see her for a little bit. That person's and, not familiar in the slightest. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> she comes up and says, oh, are you a new cadet? And she notices that boiling hot water spilt on Geodude and her fiance. Be like, Ooh. yeah, my bad. We were fighting and he fell. <laughs> and she says, oh, don't worry. He's, uh, he's a little tipsy, if you know what I mean. And he deserved that. And your Murkrow feels Murf. a little bit stronger. Nice. Good job, Murkrow. And it, it, it wants to learn a new <laughs> move. Yay. What's he want to do? Do you do you allow it to learn confuse ray? Usually Murkrows don't know that that move. I will allow him to learn that. All right. Um Murkrow now knows confuse ray. Um she comes up to you and says, "Are you in need of a cadet badge and maybe a trainer like uh a a trainer catcher? Or not a trainer catcher, a Pokemon catcher? Uh, please, I'd appreciate it. I'm, I'm pretty new to this stuff, and I'm here to learn. So, write this down. Uh, this is very specific to your character only. Okay. You have a Pokemon catcher that can catch most any Pokemon. It is just harder to catch Pokemon, usually, with this. Okay. Um, you can only catch it for a period of time. It's it's it will be let go or let free in the future if okay. uh, after a certain amount of time. But you have a badge that allows you into certain areas, and it's the Pokemon Ranger badge, and you have the Cadet badge. Hey. With that, she also gives you a starting of two hundred and seventy dollars Poke dollars. Nice. Yeah, and she says. I'm a gym leader, actually, and uh, I'm not sure I've met you before, but you you definitely have guts. But do be careful, because I can see that uh, Geodude gave you a kind of a once-over. Yeah, 
the rope, so hopefully, given that you're a, a gym leader and all, that'll that'll help me get stronger here. And she says, "Scratch the back of his neck, their neck as they're talking." Yeah, and she uh, she she smiles at you and says, "Ah, oh, well, if I can help in any way, I will. But I will say this: I don't go easy on anyone." And she says that in a very serious manner. Hey, as long as it doesn't kill me. <laughs> Good. Uh, and then she says, well, I'll be seeing you. I have to go take care of this fool. And she lifts the door with one arm, even though it's on like one hinge, basically, Hell and yeah. puts it in and the door is back up. Um, you do need a reroll uh, 4D10s, I believe. And that's to get back through the grass. If you wanted to go back. Yeah. I'll head back All right. down here. Two D tens and one D one. That's actually really lucky. Um right? so you meet two Pokemon at the same time. Okay. You can only catch one at a time. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a double battle, you can only catch one. Um I need you to roll two D one hundreds real quick. 21 and 81. You are really close to getting a shiny. Um, so you come across a Nidoran and cold environment? A cube bone. What do you want to do? You can run away. You can fight. You can use an item. I would like Crow to distract the Nidoran while I offer my last berry to Cubone. Okay. Uh, D20 for both. So two D20s, if that's okay. Yeah. The first one's going to be for Murkrow, the second one's going to be for the Cubone interaction. Two for Murkrow, 12 for Cubone. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Your Nidoran, or not your Nidoran, your Murkrow pecks at the Nidoran, and... Oh, oh shit. Um, the Nidoran misses, though, at your Murkrow. But the Cubone gobbles the berry and runs away. Bye, Cubone! <laughs> what do you do now? I would like to throw a Pokeball at the Nidoran. Okay. Uh, so for this... Wait. What is going on here? There we go. Sorry, I got a weird message. Um, with this, I need you to roll uh, just a set D10. Okay. And all you have to do is beat a... Yeah, you have to beat a six with this. Nine. Nice. So instantly you catch the Nidoran and the Nidoran is now yours. Uh, you can name it. It seems to be very aggressive. Um, I like it. It's, it's, it's definitely a bold nature. Okay. I now got a needle, needle friend. I'll have to make. Could help you with needle point. Hey. <laughs> I like to battle Phoenix. <laughs> you can later. If you battle Phoenix, he's just going to punch your Pokemon. Correct. <laughs> His Pokemon won't even be involved. Specifically, your Murkrow is involved. He's using uh... Murkrow to punch my Abra. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's Aww. not even punching the Murkrow. He took the Murkrow by the legs and then slammed me into the Abra. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay boss are you dying i'm good we I'm need good. to send someone to you it's not as bad as last time when i first heard of phoenix's endeavors <laughs> <laughs> very fair um i'm just trying to give vidge the nidoran at the moment so i'm sorry guys that's fine making an individual character for this nidoran. <laughs> um how do we um i want to make notes of my hmm. inventory uh, so yeah, it'll when, be on the bottom of your character page. 
the bottom of the bio and info, or...? No, when you go to your uh, core, well, your character sheet, and then go to core, and then at the bottom you'll see, like, equipment underneath the money. Oh. Yeah. Total weight and a, total weight and equipment or something? Yep. I never put the weights because no one really pays attention to that. But can I just use the weight as uh, the currency? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you, you don't have to worry about the uh, the um, the weights of things usually. I'll tell you if there's like a need for like a certain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, basically, like if there's if there's like a Charizard you in your pocket. You <laughs> you have Charizard in your pocket, you're just happy to see me, okay. Oh my god. Uh, Vidge, do you see your Nidoran by chance? I do! That's good. I'm gonna have to bring him down to you real quick. Wait, what the heck? How did I... There you go. Thank you! Oh, wait, no! I nope, put it in the wrong one. <laughs> yep, that was my bad. I'm sorry. There I'm you go. Um... You. You can rename him whenever you'd like as well. Cool. Um, I'm actually really curious what you name me, Pokemon. All of you, by the way. Um, but now, I believe it is Brit's turn. Ooh, Brit. What did Brit take the job as? She wants to be a jewelry smith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where is Brit now? I'm making her... By the way, <laughs> I'm making the, the Brit. By the way, Phoenix's <laughs> piggy pack is kind of just out in the open. That's not his. That's just a, oh, that's another piggy pack. No, oh, whatever Fletch the um. Fletch Fletch that's not Fletch a piggy pack. I meant Fletch. Yeah. I don't yeah, remember the Burke. It's a fledgling. Name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fletch. No There's actually quite a few different types of bird Pokemon here. Um. You can actually catch quite a few Pokemon if you go up to trees. I'll give that one that hint to you for free. Oh, so but, it's like Animal uh, Crossing where you can shake a tree and then something comes out? Yeah. You don't have to headbutt it, though. Oh, oh cool. I didn't couch. say headbutt it, but still. Okay. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. Um, so, Britt, to your right, um, she the professor tried to tell you that there was a little old man if you remember that there was a little old man outside who could possibly help you with jewelry making and that he would help you with sell uh, sales um he's to your right you can move your character anywhere you want on the map you can even avoid the old man if you want you can go eat eradicate for all i care like you can do whatever you want but that just is the man that wild. can help you yeah just eats a rat <laughs> <laughs> why <laughs> Rats taste good. Mm -hmm. um, no. Yeah, I'm gonna don't. go over here to the old man. See, see what right. info he has to tell me. So, the little old man is literally like eighty something, and he he smiles at you and like, "Oh, well, hello, trainer. What can I help you with?" Hey there. Somebody at the Pokey Center said that you could um, help me with something. And uh, he he smiles and says, "Like oh, what what can I help you with?" Well, I was thinking about getting into making some jewelry to sell, and they told me you were gonna give me some information, maybe. And he says, "You'd like to make jewelry?" Hmm. Yeah. Well then, I think I have something perfect for you. And he holds out his hand and he says. Come with me, and he brings you to the uh, the uh, the like behind his house, basically, and shows you there's this here. Let me just ping it real quick. This little area where there's like this little workshop that's lifted off the ground, and you can get up there by like a little staircase, and he brings you to there. Now. When you get there, you see woodworking benches, you see metal fabrications, you see leather work. And he says, show me what you can do. And all I need from you is a D100. Shit. Well, okay. 
Uh, you can put in your character's description that you are proficient in jewelry making. Okay. When you make... So, what what kind of jewelry would you make if you could? Any type. Um, probably make some jewelry out of stones. Okay. You make really beautiful jewelry that is specifically made from uh, some some rubble that you found outside but you polish them you shine them and you bead them and he notices that you pick up one in particular and he smiles and says that there's a fossil Ooh. and he says yeah, he says, I've, uh, I've known that there's fossils around here, but I've never actually found one on my own. It's amazing that you found one. Um, but as for your jewelry making skills, you're phenomenal. I don't think you need any help from me, but I can give you this jewelry kit. It's all that I can give besides money if you want to sell that fine bit of jewelry to me. And basically what you did was you got a bunch of quartz, you got a bunch of amethyst uh, emeralds even and you cut and shave them down to a specific size and round uh, spherical like area or circumference and you beaded them all and it made a beautiful like rainbow necklace um, but he does give you a jewelry making kit and it's very much kind of like if you're out uh, it's just in the mountains you could kind of excavate uh, certain jewels and make something out of it. It wouldn't be as fine-tuned as what he has, but it would be something that you could do for fun and possibly make money on the side. Hmm. Would you like money for the necklace that you made and um, uh, would you like his jewelry kit that he gives you? Yeah, I'll go ahead and um, sell him the necklace I made. All right. He gives you uh, specifically just a set 400 Poké Dollars for it. And he says, he says, uh, take the fossil with you, though. I've not seen many with a fossil like that. And when you examined it, it's kind of like a swirly fossil. What else would you like to do? So he gave me the fossil, um, I guess I'm done here, I, he gave me the jewelry kit too, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much, kind sir. I'm going to go ahead and get out of your way and go get my Eevee. I hope he's okay. Oh yeah, he's he's with you. I just didn't bring him out. Oh. <laughs> that was my I bad. thought he was just chill and scared all by himself in there. Nah, he's just all poofy with you. He's kind of like prancing around, um, <laughs> but he's with you now and like feels very comfortable. Um, is there anything else that you would like to do beforehand? Uh, I'm going to ask him if he has any Pokemon himself. The old man? Mm -hmm. He does. And he smiles and says, this is my oldest friend. And he brings out... Venusaur. Oh, I thought that was a totally different Pokemon. It looks so rainbow from afar. <laughs> it does. I was and like... uh, the Venusaur is huge, by the way, but it is very old, and it looks like it's very sleepy. And it looks at the Eevee and just smiles. Aww. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you'd like to do with the Venusaur? Or yeah, ask the I man? think Okay. Walk a little slow towards see if uh get scared or not. <laughs> um <laughs> So the Venusaur doesn't really care at all. It's just How do I say this? Indifferent. It doesn't like the Eevee. Um but it doesn't really care. It likes you though. It seems to like you. 
it, it seems to not like Pokemon, maybe. But it, it's very much uh, a docile, sleepy Venusaur. And the old man uh, says, don't mind him. He's been by my side for a long time and protected me through, well, everything. So he's, he's just a good fellow. He puts him back in his Pokeball, and he goes. But now we're going to go back to, I believe it was Boss, right? Or is it Phoenix? Who's next? I don't know. Is it Phoenix? It, no, it wasn't Well, right. I accepted the job last, so probably Boss. Yeah. Ah, so then it's, yeah, then it's Boss. Um, boss, you're behind a computer right now doing a lot of IT stuff. I like my Pokemon away so I don't, so they don't smash things. I mean, I can do that for you. Thank um, you. yeah, no worries. I'll, I'll keep Pid. Well, actually, there's no bird. I'll keep Pidgey in his Pokeball for now. Okay. So, did you want your Mimikyu out? Uh, yes, because Mimikyu is a little bit more, is a little bit less. Um. Curious, I'd say maybe. I don't know. He ever was. I mean, he'll at least look at, listen to what I say a little bit more. I know. Okay. Um. While you're like rifling through the PC and like figuring things out, uh, your Mimikyu is just very curious and like looking around, being cutesy. And uh, he's he seems to be very happy, just like going around, playing. He he literally like plays with a bit of dust that's on the ground um when you're using like when you're using the pc you're lurk you're looking for a lot of data right now and you're finding a lot of interesting kind of dialogue between the professor and certain groups but i want you to roll a d100 to see how much you get done how much i get done mm-hmm for her oh dang no oh. <laughs> I get a lot you, you do really well. Yeah. You you basically finish all the work really quickly. Um, you have, like, hours left. Like, you are literally able to do anything right now, but you finished all the work that she gave you. What would you like to do? Am I being paid by the work I do or hourly? By the work. Okay, so then I'll... Tell the professor that I have finished what she submitted and see if this, what was that? Um, <laughs> um, I want to see what she wants me to do next, if there is anything. Okay. Um, when you go out there to talk to her, um, she's quite busy, but she still hears you and says, Oh, okay. Well... There's nothing really else that you can do, but I can pay you right now if you'd like. Sure. She gives you 500 straight. Just 500. Okay, so I just put that in my... I didn't mean to send that. In my character sheet. Oopsie. Um, didn't mean to send me jewelry. Where do I put that again? Uh, wherever you want, really, but I would technically... Um, when you go to character sheet, you can put that in your. Uh... I've been putting it in the gold personally. Where's I mean that gold? works. Item. I was gonna say item name. Uh, it's GP. Right above the item name. The GP. Yeah. It's GP. Yeah. yeah. Five hundred. Okay, so five hundred. We could just put Pokey dollars. No, yeah. I can't do that. I was gonna say because I was because it says PP right there, and I was like Pokemon yeah. podcast, <laughs> but then no. Pokemon um, podcast. Yeah, but okay. you got 500 uh, Poké Dollars. Cool. So I'll put that in GP, and uh, there's no save, so I'm assuming it just saves. Um, yeah, it just so saves. I thank her, and since I have a good amount of time, I talk with the people around the Pokémon Center. All right. I'll say you have enough time for two. Two, okay. Um, first, before I do anything, I examine who, I examine the people in the Pokemon Center. Uh, perception check, d20. d20? Mm-hmm. You don't get an added bonus to this, but nope. just a d20. Wow, nat 20. Um, that's actually really good. 
<laughs> so this guy is a Pokemon trainer, and he seems to be a lower level, but still high enough that he can beat you. Um, okay. Down here, you have a beauty contest uh, comp opponent that is looking to beautify her Pokemon. And over here, you have a custodian who is also someone who has a bunch of Pokemon eggs and seems to be trying to take care of those Pokemon eggs while mopping the floor. Um, uh, so I guess I should um, ask to see if the custodian needs help first. All right. Someone whispered you, you can... into my ear. I am <laughs> so scared. You can move. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Someone whispered and I hate it. <laughs> Phoenix? Anyway. Yeah. He is laughing. <laughs> His laughter scares me. Um, hello, sir. May I ask your name and how you're doing? Um, so he takes out some earbuds and says, Oh, well, hello. Um... I'm doing all right. A little bit busy, but I'm all right. It seems that I've been kind of asked to take some uh, some Pokemon eggs, and, well, there's too many, honestly. They're kind of a hassle, but they're not bad. Okay. Do you need help with any of them? And he says, oh, well, possibly. Um, what do you know about Pokemon? Well, I kind of dropped in here today, so basically little to none, so I'd be, it'd be nice to learn a little bit on my spare time. He smiles and says, ah, interesting. Well, I like your honesty. And he says about an hour's worth of information to you. And uh, I'm going to see how much he can give. Okay. He gives you quite a bit of knowledge, um, mainly about Pokemon eggs and how to handle them properly. He does tell you different typings and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but long take... story short, wait, what? Can you take Mimikyu out? I mean, not Mimikyu, uh, Pidgey out so they're sitting on my shoulder. Oh, sure. I should have taken um, them out when I first got out of the office. Yeah, no worries. Um, but while you were, I guess, like learning. Your Pokemon seem to be playing with each other on your shoulders. And he gives you an egg. Just an egg. And you have to put that in your inventory. Okay, so... Uh, boss, character sheet. Where in my character sheet? Uh, basically in your item inventory. So, plus sign, egg. Pokemon egg. Pokemon egg. Mm-hmm. You don't know which one it is. He says, I actually don't know which Pokemon this is for, but good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I'll use the knowledge you gave. I assume you gave me a very wise, as wisely as I can. He smiles and goes back to work. And uh, I got time for one more, right? Yep. You have time for one more. Okay. So I have a trainer and a beauty contest person. Mm hmm. Uh, I guess I should focus on getting these guys stronger, so let me go to the trainer. Okay. What do you oh. want to say to him? Hold on, hold on. I forgot. I need to move my guy. Hello there. No Hello there. You. Hello there. You look like a very a strong individual. My name is Boss. What's, what's your name? And he says, uh, I don't usually give my name out, like, right off the bat, but, yeah, I'm Kevin. Nice to meet you. Um, Boss is an interesting name. Uh, kind of thought of it on the spot when I dropped in here. I don't really remember it, honestly. Oh, that is, well, interesting. Um, so, what brings you here, stranger? Well, I can't... Like I said before, I kind of just dropped out here out of nowhere. 
I don't know what I'm doing here and I'm just kind of learning about Pokemon and trying to make a bit of a living so well, um since since you look like you you look like you really know what you what, about Pokemon so I was trying to see if you could teach me a few things about things about what you know and he says oh well if you want to learn I can always try and teach you but it's usually best that you do battles do you want to Bat what is a battle Oh, a Pokemon battle. Let me show you. And uh, he goes to one end of the Pokeball, and he brings out... What is this? A Poochiana. Oh, A okay. very cute one. Okay. <laughs> I was, like, so, like... I was, like, thought this was some kind of dark entity <laughs> coming from the damned place. <laughs> and uh, he says Ooh, sorry oh stretching ah, there we go he says would you like to uh, battle or learn how to battle I guess uh, sure I would love to learn how to battle so uh, let's see let me like okay um, I'm gonna hold Mimikyu in my arms and then send out Pidgey Okay. Um, when you send out your Pidgey, the trainer looks at you and says, Oh, well, when you send out a Pokemon to battle, um, usually people bring out their strongest or their, well, their, their best. Your Pidgey seems to be pretty weak, and my uh, Poochiana seems to be pretty strong, so I'll try and go as easy as possible. And he doesn't sound cocky at all. He sounds like very sincere, but he instantly says, "Do you know what your Pokemon's move sets are?" So, I know what my Pokemon move sets are because of the character sheet we did before, but in game, I do not. <laughs> okay. Um. So he says. Your, wait. I thought. Oh wait, yeah, because we didn't like go over that. So your Pokemon seems to be a pretty low level. Um, most likely, it will only know like certain moves and whatnot. But I'd suggest t like testing it out. Um, for example, your Pidgey might know Peck or Gust, and he uh, he makes his Poochiana use Bite right off the bat, and we're gonna see if it hits. Okay, so what do I roll? Uh, a 12, and you have to say Peck or Gust. Like, uh, which one are you gonna use? Gust. Gust? Okay. Um, both do hit, and Gust hits, and it brings the Poochiana down to, like, a certain level, but... Your Pidgey is close to fainting, and he acknowledges this, and he tells you that your Pidgey is close to fainting. After about an hour's worth of training, you learn that Pokemon training is uh, a battle between two Pokemon or more, and it's a battle for who's quicker and who has more power behind them, as well as who has the most HP, etc., etc. Okay. Then mm -hmm. let me withdraw Pidgey. Oh, yeah, are we done with the battle now, or...? Yes. Okay, so... And your, your Pidgey isn't fainted, but he was trying to teach you, like, how, like, movesets are working and whatnot. Okay, And he okay, calls right. back his Poochiana. What I was gonna... I thought I was gonna, like, uh, train both of them, but I guess Pidgey did need... Was the one who needed the training, anyway. No, he, he would have trained both of your Pokemon. Oh, okay. Then I'll wait ne for next time to train my my uh, Mimikyu. No, I said he he trained both of them most oh, likely. He, oh, he did. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. No How do I return them? Uh, so if you right click on them, you can press delete, and it'll delete them. And you can just bring them out again through your uh, your where's, little spreadsheet. Where's delete? Uh, right click, and then or can you not do that? I don't see a delete button. 
That's okay, okay I so... got it for you. Okay, so I guess that's just you. Yeah. Uh, Phoenix, what did you want to do? You wanted to... I went to the swamp, I think. Yeah, you wanted to go to the swamp. And you wanted to wrestle these guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Well, good luck, Phoenix. So, Phoenix, I need you to roll a bunch for this. Uh, individually, each of them are very strong. You have to basically get above a 15 to actively throw them out of the swamp or out of this region of the swamp. Well, um, roll a d20 seven times. See, my inclination was to go in with it as a team with my Pokemon. Oh, you want to do that now? Mm hmm. Good luck. <laughs> um, so, with this. How how do you think you're gonna like go against these Quagsires? Uh, well, I, I'd start off with when you know we get to the edge of the area. I'm gonna give my Pokemon a pep talk, and then we're gonna try and engage the Pokemon as a team. Okay. Um. So you're gonna have both of them attack one at once, kind of thing. Uh. Tactically, we're taking a tactical approach. So, uh, like, is there one by itself we can engage, or is there are they together that we can't fight them separately? Um, what what am me, I seeing, basically? Give me a d twenty. There is one by itself right now. All right, I'm gonna give my Pokemon a pep talk. All right. <laughs> I uh, get my tur turtwig out. Turdy. Pontiac. All right. We've got a job here. We're going to kick these Pokemon out of this area. They're causing a lot of trouble. Um, Turdy. I kind of overstepped your... Uh, I kind of overstepped your bounds back when we met Pontiac. So uh, let me know. Do you want to take this guy on first, or do you want to go in as a team? It's your call. Just uh, give me a little jump or something. Let me know. Pontiac is actually eager to battle, but your Turtwig is very much not. All right. I get it, Pony, but uh, Turtwig, uh, you're going to back up uh, uh, Pony Pontiac, all right? He just goes, so. Tur. Come on, Tur, you got some more in you than that. I know it. Come on. Let's see. I'll give you you know what? I'll I'll let you roll for this, and I'll give you a plus three, because you're trying to be as inspirational as possible. What do you want? Oh, just D20. Mm. Your tur twig is still very like uh... <laughs> Good enough, Turdy. Maybe you'll get that. I'll, I'll rename you Fist once you get your motivation back. But uh, all right, uh, Pontiac, go in strong, and uh, Turdy, support him. Uh, let's go with uh, Flamethrower and follow up with some Razor Leaf action. Go, go, go! Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna just roll for them real quick. Oh shit! Uh, Turdy crit hits, uh, but. The flamethrower does like nothing to the quagsire and the quagsire does faint and then it slowly floats down the stream. <laughs> can I capture him with my one? Can I capture him with my one free pokeball? You can try. Uh, so with this, you just have to beat a five or meet a five. So meet or beat a five. What am I rolling? <laughs> Uh, D10, sorry. Hey, you got it. Uh, by the way, give me a D100 to see if it's shiny. Nope, it is not a shiny. Um, but you have a fainted Quagsire in your inventory. Well, actually, it's not fainted, but it's it's very close to fainted. Um, 
It is as close to fainted as you can get. All right. Good job, team. Uh, we got a couple more of these guys to deal with. Let's get at them. We're going to proceed now, forward. This is this is where it's going to get a lot harder. Uh, give me a d20, and you have to beat an 18 to actually pass the rest of these. Fuck. Uh, you all get your butts handed to you, but you manage to defeat one Quagsar, and the guy who watched you do it is like kind of like a DNR officer. But he's for Pokemon, and he DNR? gives you a uh, DNR like a designated nature um, reserve. It's not reserve. Uh, resident? I forget now. Um, but basically, they're someone that takes care of the nature in that area or the wildlife. And ranger. Yeah, ranger. Thank you. Um, he gives you 180 Poke Dollars. I thought this was high paying. And he says, well, if you got most of them, or at least three of them, it would have been a lot better. But, All right. you know, you we'll, tried. Uh, we'll rest up. We'll be back at it in uh, a couple hours. And he says, all right. And I'll give you one more chance. Uh, with this one, you have to beat a 17. Roll a d20 again. Dice. Fuck you, Dice. No. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm going in myself this time after the Pokemon fail me. I'm going in and rest. I'm wrestling the Pokemon now because my Pokemon have failed me on this time. Oh my goodness, you. So. One dice. What? You know that Quagsire you caught? Yeah. The Pokeball floats down the stream when you don't notice. And you don't know where it went. That's bullshit. Oh my goodness. You lost a Quagsire. You Did had it take... for a second. Do we at least take out another Quagsire? Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll allow you to physically assault a Quagsire. Um, oh give me three D6s and you're rolling against me. Fucking Christ. Oh it throws you down the stream. Did I find my football? You did not. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so sad. <laughs> At least it didn't die, technically. It's just in hibernation, kind of. Oh my goodness. Kind of. <laughs> but that is all for D&D today. You said a hundred bucks. Uh, you got 150, I believe, or was it 180? Yeah, 180. Made some cash, caught some Pokemon. Mm hmm. Let's go. One second, I'm wondering why Vidge is so quiet for me. But yeah, uh, You're that quiet. was it for Pokemon D&D &D today, and I wanted to say thank you all for joining. I had a lot of fun DMing. Um, I'm actually really exhausted today, and I'm so sorry that I came in late and that I'm like just physically exhausted. But I no, love. No, we had a good time. I was yeah. I was not expecting to have this much fun today. I thought you weren't gonna be on at all. So oh, I'm glad I show up. Yeah, yeah. It was fun times. I can't wait for next one next week. Yeah, sweet. I can't wait to DM but, for but, it. My buddy was saying, "Oh, I want to join in." It's like, "Well, you you haven't been on the channel at all yet, so you gotta." show mm -hmm. up and be present and then maybe when uh, somebody's not available maybe you can join in i do want to have uh guest stars for uh like every now and again someone can come in and like be a guest star for the D, &D <laughs> channel and i think it would be a lot of fun kind of like what critical role does but uh mm -hmm. I there's forget. a lot of like time and effort that goes into pokemon D, &D. but we, i'm really I, disappointed in these digital dice <laughs> don't trust me i know they were is nice it possible? <laughs> is it possible that we could start a little bit earlier next time so we can go a little bit longer? Oh yeah, I was planning on six. So okay. Um, yeah. Also, what was I saying? I was gonna ask: um, Can sure. you buy things like 
other like technological stuff like um compute like laptops and um compute like uh, cameras and stuff. Yeah. You can. Okay. Yeah. Let's see about that next time too. By the way, right. what also what else did I learn after you're done? Like, I'll actually I'll do that after we're done with the stream. I ask about that. Okay. Well, thank you all for showing up and. <clears throat> Everyone who's <laughs> present currently playing, thank you all for being a participant. Um, this has been the Social Club's D and D Pokemon PP <laughs> podcast, <laughs> and uh, podcast. it's it's. I'm it's not giving fun. up. I will get that Pokemon back. I will get them back. <laughs> it is it is possible because it wasn't actually in a battle, so it's plausible. He is rowing down yeah. the same river that um, it flo floated down, so it's possible. Yeah, it really is possible. <laughs> <I can't laughs> yeah, thank you guys for uh, being a part of this, and uh, see you next time. Peace. Bye. Bye.